Uh, when it comes to systems of inequalities, um, we can't, we aren't going to be able to find uh, just one solution or even a couple of solutions to these systems. Uh, we're going to have to graph them. And uh, let's look at this first example where we have y is greater than negative 2x minus 5 and y is less than or equal to x plus 3. How we uh, show the solution to a system of inequalities is just graph each inequality first. So with the first one, y being greater than negative 2x minus 5, has a y-intercept of negative 5 and a slope of negative 2, which would be down 2 over 1 or up 2 back 1. And so I'm just going to kind of work my way back and draw a line. Now the thing is, this line needs to be a dotted line because it's not equal to. Uh, now we should we could test a point and decide which side to shade on. But this thing's in slope-intercept form, and it says y is greater than, so we know that we should shade above the line. So this region is all the solutions to the first equation. All the solutions to the second equation, uh, we'll have to draw a line again. It has a y-intercept of 3, 1, 2, 3, and a slope of 1. This time, uh, because it can be equal to, we can draw a solid line and uh, it's less than and in slope-intercept form so our region will be underneath the line so right now it kinda looks like a mess but we've got two lines and shaded on one side of each of those lines our solution to the entire system see the region in blue is the solutions to the first equation our inequality and the, the region in red is solutions to the second one so what I want is the region that is a solution to both. So that has to be this overlapping region. And that is how we graph an inequality. So graph both parts, or as many parts as there are, and the solution is going to be the region that overlaps. So let's try it again here. When we have a system of 2x plus 3y is less than 6. Well, that's in uh, standard form, so we can graph it this way. If I plug 0 in for x and 3y equals 6, that means y is 2. Plug 0 in for y, 2x is 6, that makes x 3. So we have the point 0, 2 and the point 3, 0. It's just less than, so it's going to be a dotted line. And now this thing is not in slope-intercept form, so we can't just say it's going to be above or below. We actually have to pl plot a point. So let's plot this point, the easiest one of all, 0, 0. If we plug 0 in there, 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0. Is that less than 6? Well, 0 plus 0 is less than 6. So the solution for the first inequality is this. Now we graph the second one, which has a y-intercept of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and a slope of negative two-thirds, so down two over three. This one is equal, equal so we can have a solid line. It's in slope-intercept form, and y is greater than, so we're going to shade above the line. And remember, what we're looking for is the region that overlaps. And in this problem, we don't have any. Uh, so this is going to be one of those situations where there's no solution, right? because the two regions are completely um, completely separate. These two lines are parallel. They're never going to intersect, so there's never going to be an overlap. We may even have a system that has crazy functions in it. There's nothing that says that systems have to be lines. So let's look at one that we know about. Uh, the first one, when we have y is less than 3. Well, y less than 3 is this horizontal line at 3, where all the y coordinates are 3. And uh, it's equal to, so it's a solid line. And it's less than, so it'll be everything below that line. For the second equation, that's an absolute value equation. Um, and the vertex is moved over to x being negative 4. But it'll have a slope of plus or minus 1. It's not equal to, so we could draw a dotted line. And there's our absolute value. Uh, we can pick a point like 0, 0. And is 0 greater than the absolute value of 0 plus 4? Well, is 0 greater than 4? No. So that means our solution is going to be on the other side. Let me extend this line so we can see 
that our region is going to be the overlap, that everything that's above the absolute value and below this horizontal line. So even though it's not a system of lines, we can still graph it and still find the overlapping region.